And the elbow, right here, I'm going to make a straight line going straight down. I try not to twist my wrist too much when I'm scissoring, but I'm trying to stay out of your way at the same time. You've already set all this in, so you want to go right from your shoulder straight down because you want parallel lines. Straight around. I've already set my length. Now this type of coat is definitely going to need either the help of a convex shear to finish this off or thinning shears or both. And I prefer both. Okay, lift my foot. I'm going to scissor the top of the foot in with my curves. And then I'm going to go to my straights. And I'm going to make my lines. Always shake your legs. Give them a little shake. This way you can see what needs to be cut. Remember, you always want your hair to fall out now, not when the dog goes home. I always say that. So make sure that you really shake your coats and manipulate the hair. Come here, Teddy. I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to get the inside of my leg. This kind of coat is, um, is a struggle because it's kind of a drop coat, but it's thick, so it, it will hold up to scissoring. But it takes some manipulation, so you just got to be patient and, and keep, go keep going with it until you get it just how you want it. Give it a little shake. Okay, I'm just going to try to get my nice straight lines inside here. Now again, you can really get a lot of this done with snap-on combs if you want to go a little shorter. Or if you really want to, you could take the blade down the whole legs if that's what your clients want. But leaving a little bit of hair just gives them a little style. <laughs>